Hi everybody, this is Chris. So I was really racking my brain trying to figure out what to talk about for this talk today. And I finally realized that it was staring at me in the mirror all along. So I've called my talk today, Yin Yang, the eight trigrams, and the principle of duality in all things. Now, entire theses and courses have been created to help understand these. So I'm just gonna scratch the surface, but I hope I can teach you at least something new. Along with these topics, I'll talk uh, today about stories and legends in Chinese history that are told about the origins. So take those as you want. In the Chinese legends of creation, the universe is said to have cycles. Each cycle is divided into 12 phases and each phase lasts 10,800 years. In the cycle before ours, heaven and earth were still one and no man had appeared. It was called chaos and is represented by the Wu Ji. It is said that Pan Gu conjured a magical axe and used it to split the Wu Ji in two, allowing yin and yang to separate into what we see represented by Taiji Tu. We can see that the Taiji Tu shows the separation of yang and yin, or the positive and the negative. Next in the story is the creation of the three powers, heaven, earth, and man. It is said that heaven, including the sun, moon, stars, and constellation, began in phase one. As phase two began, things started to solidify and the earth began to come together, bringing metal, wood, water, fire, and earth into being. So it is said that the earth was created in phase two. With phase two in place, the yin-yang elements were created by the interaction of positive and negative within each positive and negative. As heaven and earth intermingled, and at the height of phase three, all creatures were born, therefore it is said that man was created in phase three. Now that the three powers of heaven, earth, and man were created, we can see the development of what's called the myriad of things which from the combination of all the positive and negative. So positive is written with a single long brush stroke. Negative or yin is written and represented by two shorter brush strokes. So as we go through the interactions here, we see the formation of the eight trigrams. So positive, positive, positive gives us the trigram for heaven. Positive, positive, negative is the trigram for wind. Positive, negative, positive is fire. Positive, negative, negative is mountain. Negative, positive, positive is lake. Negative, positive, negative is water. Negative, negative, positive is thunder. And negative, negative, negative is earth. So from heaven and earth, all the combinations were created and we now have the eight trigrams that represent all things. But this isn't the order they're usually seen. We usually see these trigrams ordered in the Ba Gua, which mean eight symbols. Something you might not know is that there are usually two different Ba Guas that are seen. They are the early heaven sequence and the later heaven sequence. So I'll talk about the history and development of each. We start with the early heaven sequence. According to legend, He Tu was first and appeared at the time of Fu Qi around 2800 BC. It is said that an animal with the head of a dragon and the body of a horse uh, came out of the Yellow River and on its body were these markings. You can see the arrangement of uh, the numbers in opposites balanced around the center, yang and white and yin and black. One, two, three, four, five in the center, six, seven, eight, and nine. The He Tu is thought to be a miniature structure of the universe. You can see how the spirals of Yang and Yin uh, resemble the Taiji Tu, how the Yin spirals out and Yang spirals out resembling the Taiji Tu. You can also see the placement of the symbols given the location in the He Tu diagram. So starting in the corners, we have uh, one, uh, two, three in this corner, and four. Five is in the center with no symbol associated but the yin-yang symbol. 
uh, 6, 7, 8, and 9. Other attributes of the trigrams might include elements uh, or directions. So here, fire elements, wood, water elements, and metal are arranged in their opposites around a, around a balanced earth. Also, the directions, and in the Chinese compass or in the Chinese maps, south is usually placed on top. Uh, this last one is a representation of brush strokes used in the trigrams, and they're also balanced with nine strokes for each opposite pair. So here we would see three brush strokes, and down here six brush strokes. Over here is uh, five brush strokes and four brush strokes. So no matter which opposite pair it is, there are nine brush strokes between them. So all the attributes of each symbol, or gua, really are too many for a short talk, but you can see some of them listed here. So that's how the early heaven sequence Bagua was created from the Hatu diagram. It's an arrangement of opposites and is said to refer to an order of things before creation, before changes. If you have any questions, please feel free to leave them below. The other Bagua arrangement we frequently see is called the later heaven sequence Bagua. The later heaven sequence is based on the Lo Shu diagram. As the story goes, there was a tortoise with the head of a dragon who appeared at the bank of the Luo River. And it was during a time of great flooding. The animal had a numerical pattern on its back, which inspired Emperor Yu to develop methods that brought order back to the land. It is said Luo Shu is a, rep a reduced representation of the earth. The Luo Shu places one through nine alternating yang and yin in the location shown here. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. The numbers locations when placed in a grid form what's known as the magic square, where any, any three numbers added together in a row or column or diagonal always add up to 15, which in Chinese culture is a number that stands for harmony. The numbers show the location of each trigram in the later heaven sequence. So one, two, uh, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. It is said that the Lowell River chart shows the order of changes as it happens in our world, such as the cycle of birth and death, the day, the 24 seasonal markers of the Chinese calendar, time, anatomy, geomancy, astrology, and astronomy. Here are more attributes of the later heaven sequence, including things like direction, element, and color. Color might be placed on a bagua and used in geomancy like feng shui to divine a, a, a space, a home or an office or something like that. So that's a little bit about each bagua. The early heaven sequence and its arrangement of opposites representing the universe and the later heaven sequence and its cycles of change representing the earth. The trigrams are also used in things like medical applications like acupuncture. You could see organs in their relationship to the symbols. You can also see the He2 diagram placed against a human body and how that might be applied. Uh, of course, martial arts have taken inspiration from the eight trigrams. Here we see eight hand techniques uh, based on the, the symbols and embedded in that is a set of five footwork that relates to the elements of water, metal, earth, fire, and wood. So the duality that's represented in Taiji 2, whether you believe the theories or not, is in everything we encounter, physically, mentally, and spiritually. The Bagua are tools to help us understand the interactions and the relationships of what comes out of that duality. Like I said, entire theses and courses have been created to understand these interactions. But even with a little bit of awareness, you can start to see the positive and negative within everything. Then, look deeper and see if you can find the positive within the negative and the negative within the positive. Our course is naturally Gung Fu, which includes the physical, mental, and spiritual applications of duality. 
I've only really scratched the surface when it comes to these theories, but I hope you have learned something new. Please leave comments or questions below, both positive and negative. Thanks.